All right, welcome back, everyone. Wow, it's uh, it's going to be a beautiful. I don't know where I'm getting all these pine needles. Oh, you know where I'm getting all these pine needles from? Those I don't know about, but I know I have a bunch in the back of my van. Um, so after I went trash picking, I actually about six thirty, seven o'clock at night, decided I wanted to go trash picking again. So I just kind of drove around my area. I didn't really drive all the way back to the other towns, but I just drove around kind of my area. And I came across a bunch of stuff, bunch of metal, uh, in, in fact. So I got this radiator. It's an auto radiator, so they pay a little bit more for that. I don't know if you have to take off this top piece. I know you have to take off the side piece. Uh, but I got that in the scrap uh, in the trash. I got a mower deck, like off a lawnmower. It was like a 48 48 inch mower deck, and a bunch of other things. Uh, and scrap. Actually, when I got that, the guy who was throwing out was like, "Hey, you grabbing scrap metal?" I was like, yeah. Um, he's like, oh, well, I got a bunch more if you want it. So there's a bunch of aluminum, that radiator, a pool motor, a bunch of random stuff. But that was always an adventure. And then I stopped off at the scrap yard this morning and got $38 in iron because I just had a lot of iron from yesterday's trash picking. And the mower deck was probably at least 100 to 150 pounds itself but uh yeah we're going trash picking again and we're going to do an auction thing and we're checking out a storage auction today so it should be fun hopefully i can grab a storage auction i don't know if i really have room for it but i'll make room if we can find a good locker so let's get into the day let's do it so this road has generally treated me pretty well recently i see something over there on the right it looks like possibly a rocking chair maybe maybe Looks like a rocking chair. It also looks like it's piled with stuff on top of it. It is a rocking chair. I will see. Some lady is looking at me like this owner is just looking at me. Oh no, it's broken. It's broken. So that's the kind of rocket chair that I do kind of... Oh, buddy. There we go. Had my high beams on for some reason. Turn that off too. Get the lights on today. But uh, got some stuff down there. Looks like just garbage. I don't even know. How do you... Uh... Never went down this way. Hopefully you can turn around. That's what I did see. Just some piece of wood. Boxes of garbage. So that was nothing. Um, yeah, I guess I can't take a left up here, but that was the kind of rocking chair that I do have. I do have a bunch of those. They're kind of like a bigger style, a thicker wood. Kind of, I think they're probably oak. Got some of these posts, which are great for uh, for snow. In terms of like, you don't want the snow plow to plow your lawn. Paint these orange on the top and throw them right next to the road. I usually put up, I think, four. So here's three more. And grab this fencing. It's actually a decent lot right here. Usually you only come across like three feet. This is probably close to about eight to 10. And that's good stuff. So that might even go flea market. Probably won't scrap it. I did give my my buddy a... Uh... Oh, wait. This thing's all in there. <laughs> That could be another good thing. So we do, uh, my neighbor does car. That should be all right. My neighbor does car night, probably I'd say once every three to four weeks. And the last time we did it, we did it like, I think on like an actual like wood table. <laughs> He's like, you know, it'd be a lot nicer if we had 
an actual poker table. So who knows, maybe that'll be it. Ah, a fan. Hey look, it's a fan. I wonder if it's a fan of the channel. <laughs> Lol. It's a bad dad joke of the day. The old wind machine. <laughs> looks pretty dirty I don't know it probably does work uh, but now that it's kind of getting hotter out you would think that somebody would probably not be throwing this out so I did pick up two really nice uh, two nice fans this winter and they both work they work perfectly fine they're not loud nothing's wrong with them every setting works but they're thrown out in the middle of winter because it was like they didn't want them anymore it's not because they tried them and it didn't work now if it's getting warmer out when you start seeing seasonal items pop up like fans it's probably because it doesn't work and they're just throwing it out. All right. Got something that's not scrap metal, it looks like. Some plant stands. I don't need the planters, these guys. Oh, jeez, they come with the planter? All right. That's kind of unfortunate because I don't really... Well, somebody might want them. Hopefully somebody thinks, hey, let me just change the planter out, but I think a lot of people are going to try to take this thing off. It's not going to come off. Need the cigarettes, I don't smoke. All right. These are nice. They're kind of like, uh, I wouldn't say like uh, the spools, the wood spool style, but it's pretty much like that. Maybe I can get 10 bucks for the pair. Five, 10 bucks for the pair. We'll see what happens with those. The nice thing about those, they don't take up that much space. yourself a couch it's kind of look like that's gonna kind of oh geez um, it's gonna kind of wrap it up for trash picking possibly pretty much it's over here grab that chair I man it's scrap metal so grab that just for Things and giggles. I don't know if that that's scrap metal or not. I'm not going to take that. I mean, I don't know if that's garbage. I mean, probably is, but it's not against the road, so grab this. Alrighty, on to the auction. So this is the only thing I'm really after today is the A basket because everyone keeps asking me about them. Um, I sold my last ones, but since there's not that much here, it looks like this thing and all the, the better items are probably going to go for a little bit more money. That's my guess. One world. Oh, these are boxes. Lags. Interesting. So it's probably going to be a quick day here. I think we'll head out here soon. Uh, this is in the first row, which is nice. Back through town. Whoa, look at that. All right, back in action. So I just stopped off and actually just grabbed some uh, vintage H Street bottles. I, I don't think they're that old. They might be from the 90s. They're all dirtied up like they've been in a basement for the last 70,000 years, but they're definitely not that old because the label's on them. Um, and it came in a crate. It's in a, a plastic crate, not a wood crate. That is labeled a treat. But I just left the auction. I didn't buy one thing. There was uh, that one milk or one egg basket sold for 25 bucks. And this is what I'm saying. It's like, you know, I tried selling them at Lamberville. 
for 25 bucks. And then I went down to 20 bucks. And it's just amazing. You sell them at a flea market where there's hundreds of people who walk by, and then you bring them to an auction where there might be 50 people, and it sells for more money at the auction than it does at a flea market. It, it sometimes it just sometimes it just blows my mind. But I'm heading off. I'm going to head off to the storage auction now, and uh, we'll see if we get a storage locker. I'll show you guys the uh, the bottles over there. So made it to the storage locker, so it's been pretty, pretty long day. Look at that thing, that thing's awesome. I guess it's like a little miniature house, uh, like a pull behind little miniature house. I've seen them every once in a while. I've seen them on eBay. I've never really seen one in person. That thing's kind of pretty, that thing's pretty cool. Oh man, they know how loud it was out here, but I was gonna show you guys the bottle. So it's been kind of a wild day so far. There was another storage locker uh, auction going on at two o'clock. Right now it's 2.25. Uh, the other auction, I got there at about 1.40 and started pulling into the driveway, checked my uh, checked my phone before I even got out of my van, and uh, it was canceled because there was only one locker and the last locker was paid for. Uh, they sent me an email like three hours ago, so it was what it, it, it is what it is, or it was what it was, but these are the bottles. These are the bottles I picked up, so they aren't old. This is with the paper on it. Uh, I would say these are probably from the 90s. That's my bet. Uh, I'll try selling some of these. I don't know, this one's... Yeah, I, I just don't think... <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to buy this, but, you know, I'll bring it to the flea market. Maybe somebody will want to buy the A-Tree container. I know it's not wood, it's plastic, but... Who knows, someone might use it. And also, I had these guys rolling around in the back pick this guy up so and that pot actually fell off so they do come off so i'll probably just take off the other one and then uh most likely just unscrew that screw like the matching tiffany lambs yeah, yeah that, that was last week <laughs> <laughs> Someone thought that was valuable <laughs> and they decided to pay for it. For yes, they did. Okay, we're going to have well, a reverse bid that. now. <laughs> I've never well, seen no, that. You, got, you got an old school Nintendo up there. Andy, Andy told me to down in Philadelphia to do the reverse bid. Lobster pot. All right, that's going to wrap it up here for today's locker, uh, today's locker adventure and auction and trash picking adventure. It's been fun. I didn't buy any lockers. Uh, unfortunately, I bid on one and I didn't get it. I think I bid up to like 60 or 70 bucks. There wasn't really much in it, but it was pretty clean. Uh, there were a couple tools. There was a hamper, a bunch of garbage bags, so you never know what's inside there. Um, for the most part, it, it was probably worth 60 or 70 bucks. I, I definitely want to do the treasure hunt. Uh, the one locker that I did film a little bit of, um, that locker didn't sell. It was probably about, I'd say around four trips with my van uh to that facility which would probably take two to three days to clear out by myself it's just too much work and i saw about a hundred dollars worth of stuff on it but you know when you're talking two or three days worth of work that's a lot of labor hours it's a lot of time invested and there's a lot of garbage uh, for some reason there was a lot of garbage like up front uh, but the locker did not look looked through it just looked like everything was just tossed in there so who knows from my experience from doing those lockers it generally is just you know garbage it's like somebody got evicted from somewhere and then he, the land landlord just came in and threw all the stuff into a locker um, that's kind of what i've noticed from previous uh storage locker cleanouts is that's kind of the case so i didn't buy that locker hopefully tomorrow's a little bit better uh hopefully you guys have enjoyed this i know tomorrow should be a full day of uh storage auctions and we'll see if we can grab one tomorrow hopefully you guys enjoyed it. if you did smack that like button until next time have a great day keep living the dream peace